Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. So we have some incredible announcements this week, including a performance increase for general purpose GP2 volumes. VPCs can now be shared across AWS accounts. Code Pipeline now supports VPC endpoints. And we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Ryan Krunenberg. And me, Faye Ellis. So AWS have announced a 60% performance increase for general purpose volumes or GP2 volumes. And if you don't remember, GP2 volumes are the default volume type for Amazon EC2 instances. And they are backed by SSD or solid state drives and are recommended for most workloads, including boot volumes. So previously GP2 volumes were capable of 10,000 IOPS, but that has now increased to 16,000. And we're expecting this to result in an increased IO performance for all workloads, but particularly in terms terms of faster boot times. VPCs can now be shared across AWS accounts. So you can now allow other AWS accounts to create resources like EC2 instances, RDS databases, Lambda functions, etc., into a shared and centrally managed VPC. And this is going to be great for customers who use multiple AWS accounts across different business units, projects, or environments, because now the IT team can own and manage your VPCs, and application developers can easily be given access to create, modify, and delete resources only in the subnets that they need, and without having to manage or configure their own VPC. So this reduces the number of VPCs needed across your organization, and it really simplifies network connectivity requirements as well. So Code Pipeline now supports VPC endpoints. And if you don't remember, Code Pipeline is a fully managed continuous delivery service, which allows you to automate the build, test, and deployment phases of your software release process. And you can now access Code Pipeline from your VPC using VPC endpoints. Whereas previously, you would need to connect to the Code Pipeline over the internet or using a VPN connection. Now, by using VPC endpoints, you can privately connect resources in your VPC to Code Pipeline with without using public IP addresses, which increases the security because the traffic between your VPC and code pipeline does not leave the Amazon network. So on to Guru of the Week. And this week, we had a very different kind of question for you. We asked you to tell us your favorite new service announced at reInvent and why. And there were loads of great answers, but the person with the best answer was Trung Do, who is a software engineer in Vietnam. And he chose Transit Gateway and also gave a great explanation. So check out his answer. So congratulations, mate. There's an A Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and a hand signed card on the way to you in the post. And you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent for 2019. So please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that's all from us. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep, Keep being, being awesome, awesome Cloud, Cloud Gurus. Gurus. And we'll see you next time.